11th Straw Hat. Hey guys, Dark Dragon here. Okay, today I will be discussing why there will be another Straw Hat joining the crew, and why, yes, only one person will be joining the crew. So in Chapter 1, Romance Dawn, and I'm talking about the real Romance Dawn, not the one about the kid trying to be a peace main. I guess we'll never know. Okay, but back to the topic, Chapter 1, we get the introduction to our Joy Hat, Sun Loving Pirate, and his goodbye with the inspiring God King himself, Shanks, along with the swashbuckling crew, who yo-ho-ho, and are unbeatable toe-to-toe. -to -toe. With Luffy's declaration clear, first thing first, I gotta get a crew. I think 10 people will do, meaning that since the start of Luffy's adventure, he has searched for 10 people to complete his crew. From the beginning of the series, Oda has intended for there to be 11 Straw Hats, nine of which we've already met. Zoro, Nami, Usopp, Chopper, Sanji, Robin, Frankie, Brooke, and Jinbei. All who each have their own goals and dreams, but restrict themselves or are chained to a looming shadow or presence of debt in their life, and are then are freed by Luffy so they can achieve their vision and help him achieve his. Now, some people don't want another straw hat, some people want multiple people to join, and I'm here to tell you that you both will have to get accustomed to seeing an 11th face on the ship of the Pirate King. Introducing the candidates, Carrot, Momo, Marco, Kaido, Yamato, and Tama. Now, introducing the finalists, Momo and Yamato. Before revealing the next straw hat, I will quickly cover why the following did not make it. Kaido is not going to be a straw hat because he will not become a subordinate to Luffy, and also after he is defeated, will go on a redemption arc as I believe Kaido will be an ally in the final war. Tama is too young and weak as a fighter as she would get in the way during most adventures, especially with our new enemies upcoming being the Blackbeard Pirates and the World Government. Then Marco is just going to remain as an ally of the Straw Hats and will probably have a new goal after Wano of either just returning back to Sphinx Island and protecting Whitebeard's home homeland or maybe revi revitalizing the Whitebeard Pirates and actually going out and looking for them again. Then Carrot will inherit Pedro's will and remain with the Minx as a guardian and lead the Mink army. Along with Wanda, Shishilion, and obviously Cat Viper and Inarashi. I am generally sorry for those that did not make the cut. Now, for the 11 straw hat, Yamato! Yes, Yamato is going to be the 11 straw hat. I'm sorry, Momo, although you have been with us for a decade, your time with the straw hats is over and you are now a man and must lead Wano, as it's Shogun preparing to help for the final war, as you must rebuild your country with the help of your sister Yori, just like our other honorary straw hat, Vivi, you will always be our Nakama. Now, introducing daughter of the Hundred Beasts, Breaker of Chains, the Oni Princess herself, Yamato. You still here? It's over. Go home. What? You're still here? Okay, fine. I will tell you exactly why Yamato is joining the Straw Hats, okay? Now, I believe most of you are familiar with Luffy's number Gomo, or 56, as this number is the number of the, his double fruit, and what most people think Luffy's final bounty will be, end of series. Now, people might be overlooking this number, but it also represents this crew's formation before they travel around the world. Five pirates who sail out of the East Blue and begin their journey to the Grand Line, and then the addition of six members in the Grand Line just before they travel to the last island for a total of 11 pirates, with the addition of pirates coming in pairs of two following the journey on the Grand Line. First, we have Chopper and Robin before Ennis Lobby and before the Straw Hats are super rookies. Then we have Frankie and Brooke, who are, we get after Ennis Lobby and after the Straw Hats are known infamously as super rookies. Then... We now have Jinbei and Yamato, who we are adding on to the crew after Wano, after the Straw Hats have now become great pirates and are now worldwide and world known. Now, the structure of the Straw Hat Pirates join the crew in the simplest sense versus checking out boxes and comparing them to how other Straw Hats joined versus why they joined are different topics, as all the Straw Hats joined because they were freed by Luffy and wished to help him on his dream by also accomplishing their dream as well. Luffy needs all of them to be the Pirate King, it doesn't matter how you joined or when you joined as long as you strive to help Luffy be the King of the Pirates. With most, if not every Straw Hat joining, Luffy is a way to achieve their goal and help the man who saved them. This is what it means to be a part of the King of the Pirates crew. Why Yamato and Jinbei join the crew simultaneously is essential and crucial point in the story. Both Jinbei and Yamato are under the control of a Yonko, which Luffy wants to defeat, 
Both despise the Yonko they are connected with, but stay out of the justice of saving their kingdom. With Yamacho, she can leave at any time she wants one to. Still, she desires to open up the borders of Wano, as Kazuki Oda declared before his death, which inspired Yamato to inherit his will in that fight for the people of Wano. Timbei, to protect the fishmen from people who would come and enslave them or kill them, decides to join forces with Big Mom after the fall of the White Beard Pirates to save his people from persecution, even though he disagrees with her ways. Both Yamato and Jim Jinbei have moments of declaration against their former emperors and declare that they will join Luffy and cut ties with their respective Yonko. Then Luffy fights on their behalf and helps them free their country from the emperor and frees them by defeating the threat that holds them back. Throughout the whole story, humans and fishmen have a complicated past and history resulting in the slavery and persecution of fishmen. Luffy is an unknown force and helps Jinbei fight for Fishman Island, proving that humans and fishmen can get along, with Jinbei giving Luffy's blood after Luffy defeats Horty showing that the Fishman people to accept humans and that, that they are not their enemies. As we see Yamato remain almost a, as a hidden figure, figure during the raid, unknown to the samurai, she is helping Momo and Luffy fight Kaido. While Luffy fights Kaido 1v1, Yamato is protecting and guiding Momo during the attack in place of the scabbers as being a true samurai of Wano and helping her shogun. Out. After Yamato helps Momo use his powers and hold up Onigashima and Luffy defeats Kaido, she will reveal herself after the raid to which the samurai will find out she is Kaido's daughter and therefore the enemy and must die. For Momo to then deny such claims against her and state that Yamato is a true samurai of Wano who fought to open up this country's border to the world and on the side of Luffy and Momonosuke. After this moment, Yamato will have completed her goal of opening up Wano and been liberated from the shadow of Kaido after his defeat. After this point, Yamato will see that she doesn't have to be Odin to be a samurai. Even her and Oni, who is the daughter of the enemy, can still be friends with humans because it is her actions that determine who she is, not where she comes from, as we see time and time again represented in One Piece. After this recognition from Momo and the title of being a samurai, Yamato will see that Momo is Odin. After seeing this, Yamato will think that she can't join the Straw Hats because she is not Odin, only to then realize that she is free and can do whatever she wants, and will ask Luffy to join his crew and go on adventures, where Luffy will probably say no because she doesn't know if she's Yamato or Odin. She will then respond that she is Yamato, a samurai of Wano, and the daughter of Kaido, and that it is her dream to set sail and have great adventures. As Momonosuke must stay here and rebuild Wano, as he is the figure the people of the Wano country have been waiting for for 20 years to return and cannot join the crew as Momo is the key figure to rebuilding Wano. In short ways, all the Straw Hats join the crew, Zora is tied up and then freed by Luffy, Nami's heart is controlled by pirates, Luffy frees her by defeating Arlong, Usopp is tied to his island waiting on his father's return, Luffy frees him by having Usopp join and living out his dreams of being a brave warrior of the sea and meeting his dad, Sanji is tied to his dad, he owes his death, Luffy opens his eyes from his selfless choice to abandon his life and frees him, Chopper is connected to thinking he is a monster and he will never be accepted, only for Luffy to open his eyes and free him from his thinking and accept him and have him join the crew because he is a monster. Robin is tied to a cursed life of jumping ship and running away and never having friends, for only for Luffy to free her from this by being her friend and saving her. Frankie is tied to the idea of pirates being scum and that he would not build any more ships because they would be used for evil. For Luffy to liberate Frankie from this idea and for him to bet on the Straw Hat crew and join the Straw Hat pirates. Brooke has a shadow storm from Moria and therefore is trapped in the dark waters of the Florian Triangle for Luffy to defeat Moria and then return Brooke's shadow. Jinbei is locked up in Impel Down and wants to save Ace for Luffy then to free him and have Jinbei help save Ace. Well, spoiler, they don't. Um, then Yamato is locked away on Onigashima by Kaido being forced to stay and be its protector, be its shogun, where Luffy defeats Kaido and frees Wano, Wano and Yamato. After Luffy frees a straw hat, they turn around and help him on his journey to become the king of the pirates, the only way they can achieve their goals with each other, as Luffy needs all ten of these people to be the pirate king, and they need to be with the pirate king to complete their dreams. Now to answer questions you might have, um, know the monster trio is not disturbed or broken with Yamato joining the crew, Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji will always be the strongest straw hats, but as shown, Luffy and Zoro are neck to neck, Sanji and Yamato will be neck to neck, slimmer to the granddaddy of them all, Zoro and Sanji debates, as this makes sense, as all Yonko have three commanders who are above the rest in the, of their crew in terms of combat power. For Big Mom, we have Katakuri, Smoothie Cracker, Kaido as King, Queen Jack, Shank has Ben, Rue, Yasop, Whitebeard as Marco, Jozu, Ace, Roger had Rayleigh, Scopper, and Bullet, Rocks had Whitebeard, Big Mom, Kaido, 
Finally, Blackbeard has Shiryu, Devon, and Pizarro, with Luffy now having Zoro, Sanji, and Yamato. Well, what would her role be or position be on the crew? Simple, let's lay out the straw hats right now. So we have Luffy as captain, Zoro as swordsman, Nami as a navigator, Usopp as a sniper, Sanji as a cook, Chopper as a doctor, Robin as a scholar, Frankie as a shipwright, Brooke as a musician, Jinbei as a helmsman, and then Yamato would be the apprentice of the Straw Hats. Yes, that's right, apprentice. Similar to her father, just like Kaido was the apprentice under Rocks, Yamato will be the apprentice under Luffy, both share the love and excitement for adventures and wanting to live free. Also, Yamato is not known to the outside world yet and has yet to become a pirate, so when she debuts with the Straw Hats, they will all already be great pirates known to the world, and she will be a rookie, which ties into Jinbei joining the crew, the most veteran in pirate experience in the crew, is joined the same time we, with our baby-faced newbie who has yet to prove anything, or yet even have a bounty that surpasses Chopper. As Yamato joined the crew's essential as the 11 Straw Hats will clash with the 11 Blackbeard Captains and the Straw Hat Pirates will fight the Blackbeard Pirates. Well, that's all I have to say on the 11 Straw Hat Yamato. I can't wait to see your introduction to the crew. And if you disagree on why Yamato will join the crew, comment down below. Dark Dragon out.